Doubt is created in the eyes. Faith is created in the ears. What you see will make you doubt. But what you hear will cause you to believe. You want physical manifestation without using the spiritual substance to get it. Glory to God. You know, uh, one of our partners, you know, they, uh, members, they, 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 they text me every week. They cash at me every week. And they have this scripture that they use every time they cash at me. And... Uh, it's, it's Isaiah, I mean, excuse me, it's Ezekiel 44. Ezekiel 44, and it's the last verse. I think it's, I think it's verse 30. Are you with me? And so, you know, I never paid it much attention until they, until they cashed up me this past Friday. Glory to God. And when they cashed at me this past Friday, they didn't send me the normal $20 or the number, you know, sometimes $65, you know. Sometimes they may send me $100, but they sent me $1,000. They sent me $1,000. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, this has got to be a mistake. Maybe, you know, because I know this couple. And so I called them up. I said, you know what, because I was going to send it back to them because I thought it was a mistake. So I texted him. I said, uh, uh, you know, uh, so-and-so, is this, is this, is this, this was a mistake. She said, no, it's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. Now, they've been doing this now for over a year. And here's what they said to me. They sent me a picture of the car that they just got. They sent me a picture. And then they said, no, 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 Pastor, it's, 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 it's no mistake. I have learned by practicing the word. Glory to God. They sent me a picture of a brand new Volvo wagon. Glory to God. And here's what they said. Here's, here's, here's what they said. They said, one of the reasons I sold is because God blessed me to be able to purchase a new Volvo, as he has increased me, and I give a portion to you so my vehicle is blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> she says, I've, been, I've learned to do this. And I said, okay, let me see what scripture she's standing on here. It says, the first of all the fruits of all things and every obligation of all, every sort of your obligation shall be the priest. And you shall also give the priest the first of your dough to cause a blessing to rest in your house. They've been doing this and they're just practicing the word. I never, I never told, I never asked them to do it. I never asked them to do it. And when I saw that, I'm like, God said, Words matter. Words are matter. And matter is words. Oh, hallelujah. Say amen. amen. So for me to think now that physicality is reality and invisibility is not, is for me to think that I'm more real than God. I cannot be more real than God if he made me. Are you listening to me? He has to be or must be more real than me. So the invisibility is more powerful than the physicality. Are y'all listening to me? Doubt, listen to me, let me just say this to you. Doubt is created in the eyes. Doubt is created in the eyes. Faith is created in the ears. What you see will make you doubt. Mm, 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 mm. But what you hear will cause you to believe. What you see will make you doubt. Are you listening to me? 
And what you hear will cause you to believe. Why? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when I say the same thing, God understands something. The Bible says in Hebrews that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when I start saying words, the same thing, when I say the same thing to me, words that God has said to me about me, then and only then do I know who I really am. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am what the word says I am. I can do what the word says I can do. I have what the word says I do. You know what's ignited in my heart when I say that? Faith. Faith is ignited, praise God. Hallelujah. And just like a woman cannot have a baby without knowing it. A person cannot have faith and not know it. See, when you have faith and it comes alive in your heart, you enter into a place of rest. Glory to God. You enter into a place of power. You enter into a place of authority. You have a certain, you know that you know that you know, praise God. Hallelujah. Say amen. Amen. Glory to God. So what I say about a situation, to a situation, when I say that, when I say to a situation about a situation of what God has said about this, that, that situation, then and only then do I realize that I have power over that situation. See, it's not information that brings power. It's revelation. It's revelation. Glory to God. Are oh, you listening to me? Because God's word, because, let me tell you something. Because God's word is not just true. God's word is truth. Truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Look what it says over here. God told Joshua, he said, this book of the law shall not depart from your what? From your mouth. From your mouth. From your mouth. But he says, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. In other words, here's what he's saying. Meditation requires you to put some time into the Word. It doesn't just come from, you know, information. I can give you information, and you can hear it. But information doesn't do anything for you except you have it. It's not until you actually use it by meditation that it produces, by revelation, that it produces uh, power and results in your life. you got to meditate the word. you got to meditate it. You've got to know that you know that you know that you know that you know. That's what, that's what Peter and John had said. He, they said, such as I have, give I, give I you in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. What did they have? They had, they had revelation of who they were. And because they had that by faith, healing manifested in their lives. They weren't downed it. Amen. See, You cannot have faith and not know it. If you're still doubting that you have it, you don't have it. If you're still doubting that you have it or hoping that you got it, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have it. You don't have it. Because you cannot have it and not know it. So what you need to do is meditate and get back in the word and get it in your heart and in your mouth until you have it until you have it. Glory to God. Because that's what brings you power. That's what brings you results. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And see, what happens is that you will not back down from anything because right now, if you're still backing down, if you're still backing down, if you're still wavering, that is an indication now that you don't have revelation about the word and to act on it, praise God, and it will never produce for you. It only produces when you have it in your heart and you don't back down. 
Hallelujah. Because God watches over his word to perform it. Hallelujah. But you've got to get the word. You've got to get it. Because that's, that's when you can do start, that's when you can start doing things big. 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 Now, I got two minutes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, you, you got to understand something. Because God's word is not truth. You know, I said the day I said, you know, uh, if you want to be great, uh, you got to practice. It's just like, you know, if you want to be a great singer, uh, you got you to rehearse. You got to put in time. You got to rehearse. Amen. You can't just sing one note and think you got it. You can't just play one key and say, you know what? You got to put in time. I mean, hours of time to perfect it, glory to God. That's what meditation is. You got to put time into the word and to get it in your heart that you know, that you know, that you know. See, God's word is true. But there's a difference between true, what is true, and truth. And what's truth? It's true, you know, here's what it is. When, when something is true, um, it can change because it's dynamic. Glory to God. But truth, on the other hand, is static and cannot change. God's word is truth. That's why Jesus said, look what it says. Jesus said in John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 31, it says, uh, then he said to his disciples, those Jews who believed in him, he says, if you abide in my word, he says, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Yeah, yeah. It's the truth. You're not just going to know true. You're going to know truth. 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 There's a difference between what's true and you knowing truth. Glory to God. Because what's true, that's dynamic and can change. But what is truth is static and cannot change. Are you listening to me? Glory to God. That's why it says in Isaiah 55 and verse 11, glory to God. Well, look what it says over here with me in John's gospel. Look what it says, first of all, John chapter 8, verse 33. It says, then they answered and said, uh, we are Abraham's descendants. He's telling, he's talking to the disciples, I mean, uh, to, the, to the scribes and Pharisees. He says, uh, and, and he said, we've never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you can be made free? And Jesus answered, the most assured I said to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. Is a slave of sin. You try to get out of it, you know, but the bottom line, you ain't saved yet. Because see, if you were saved, you would, the Spirit of God will come into your heart and it would convict you of sin. I got saved 40 years ago. Before I got saved, I was very promiscuous. But from the time that I got saved and, and the Word of God became real to me and I walked into it, I never slept with a woman until I got married and slept with my wife. Amen. Amen. It wasn't because I wanted to. It wasn't because I didn't want to. Hallelujah. It wasn't because I wasn't tempted. It was because I had truth in me. Glory to God. And truth now kept me. Truth kept me. I wasn't even trying to do it in my own ability. I was doing it in his ability. Glory to God. He kept me. I walked in the word. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not what? Sin against him. Amen. Look what it says. It says, and a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if a son makes you free, you shall be what? Free indeed. 